Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi Wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabata fillah It's important for us, as we've said countless times, to adhere to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "Wa tasimu bihabli Allahi jami'an wa la tafarraku," and hold on you all of steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. So Ahl Sunnah uh, unites upon Tawheed, unites upon the call to Tawheed, the call to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, and. With that ahabat there will be differences, even amongst Ahlul Sunnah. But what, what are some of the ways in which we can deal with some of this differing and this bickering of Ahlul Sunnah? Here's some golden advice from Imam bin Uthaymeen, rahimahullah ta'ala, with regards to these issues. So as, so as not to be of those who Allah has mentioned, uh, who divided into sects and groups each one being satisfied with what they're upon, what their group is upon, and what their hizb is upon. Wa'iyadhan billah min dhalika. The Shaykh mentions about the differences, especially when that there's some room where there's areas of ijtihad and there's room for disagreeance. Some mini masail and fiqh and so forth. He says, as for he who differs in opinion to the way of the Salaf in matters such as Aqidah, then there is, then this difference of opinion is not accepted from anyone. However, in other matters in which there is a scope for opinions, then it is not befitting to undertake a verbal attack against those who differ in opinion, nor take this as an opportunity to breed hostility and hatred. The companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, used to differ in opinion in many manners, many matters. So those who wish to read about their differences of opinion should refer to those traditions which are available regarding them. You will find many differences of opinion amongst them. And those issues were greater than that which people differ in these days, such as that such that the people of today adopt Hizbiyah by saying, I am with such and such Sheikh. And as for me then, I am with such and such Sheikh. As if the matter is a matter of Hizbiyah, indeed, this is a grave mistake. So the Sheikh here is making, letting us know that Hizbiyah is Mithmum. It's not something praiseworthy to take these differences and make it out as I'm with so-and-so and I'm with so-and-so. As people have asked me on more than one occasion, are you still with Sh Shadid Muhammad? Are you with Sheikh Ibrahim Arhali? And I usually give them the general response to say, I'm with Ahl Sunnah. That wh whoever is from Ahl Sunnah, I don't care what their name is, what their color is, whether they're from Pakistan, whether they're from Islamabad itself, whether they're from China, whether they're from Beijing, whether they're from Somalia, whether they're from Ethiopia, whether they're from Seattle, whether they're from London, Birmingham, Brixton, Luton, Creighton, Cruton, whatever. I don't care. I only care that they adhere to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah. That's where we, we make our criterion. Nor do I make ilzam of the people to follow me or my sheikh. If you believe my sheikh is a mubtadi'ah, if you believe I'm a mubtadi'ah, that's your, your view. Then I hope it's based on ilm and fiqh. And I hope it's not based on oppression and boom. That's all I care about. Is it oppression or not? Is it a legitimate critique, but maybe still I don't agree with it? Because it's not what I believe to be in accordance with the haq, then okay. Because we want the truth, that's all we want. And I don't adhere to following any group of brothers or markas. But I do adhere to following the ulama. And trying to follow the Quran and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah and the Madhab of the Salaf. That's what I adhere to. 
So you can't say that I'm with this masjid, I'm with this individual, I'm with this no. But I realize individual such and such makes mistakes and is correct sometimes. And individual such and such makes mistakes and is correct sometimes. And my sheikh is correct and incorrect sometimes. So I follow him in that which is correct as long as I have the tools to be able to do that. And I discard and leave off those things which are incorrect. So the mas'ala habit al becomes an issue of when does someone leave the sunnah and when they're not in the sunnah. That's what's imperative because everyone makes mistakes. I don't care who you follow. I don't care who you blind follow. I don't care who you make ta'asib of, your Sufi sheikh or Salafi sheikh because there are youth and we can't deny this. We can't sit with our hands over our eyes for this many years trying to strive to be on the dawah and say that none of our brothers and sisters are blind followers, even ourselves. There was a time you couldn't tell me anything Sheikh Mukbil did was wrong. You couldn't have said that to me. Or Sheikh Rabi, or Sheikh whoever. We love all of our Mashaikh. But as the Prophet said, Kul ibn Adam All the children of Adam make mistakes, and the best of those are those who repent. And Imam Malik said, as we mentioned this statement countless times, that everyone gets things correct and they can be refuted except the inhabitant of that grave. We don't even blind follow the Sahaba as individuals. I don't say I'm Umari. I don't say I'm Abu Bakri. I don't say that, you know, Abu Bakr in every issue in fiqh he yusib. No, but he was rewarded for everyone. Any ijtihad that he did. Well, any ijtihad that Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu had. They're rewarded. But we don't make that an issue of awwala wal bara. And we don't make that an issue of ta'asab that we're blind following. We follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ittiba' wa la ibtida' wa ittiba' wa la taqlid. We follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We adhere to that. But we don't make taqlid to others in as much as we're able to do so. Except for in those Messiah that we have to. And that's another issue of contention even between Ahl Sunnah. And Allah knows best, but I believe the correct is of course there are times you have to make taqlid because you don't have the tools in many major Messiah. We go with the ulama. The ulama said this, Sheikh Salim Fuzan said this, I'm with that. I don't have the tools, I can't go into it. I don't have the knowledge, I don't have the language, I don't have the... So we, we make taqlid from time to time or in many matters, in fact, those issues that are way above our, our level. So a habit the issue is, when does someone leave the sunnah and when does someone not leave the sunnah? This is really where you find a lot of contention between the Salafi'een in this time, that they differ over individuals. We believe Sheikh so-and-so is off it. What is your position? If you don't agree with them, they make al-wala wal bara with you. There are people that I know, I don't agree with them and, and the sheikh that they support, that I believe that sheikh is a mubtidia, but I don't believe they're mubtidia for that. Even though, because I know their minhaj is all, we have the same on all major messiah, on most of the messiah, but it's over this individual. They still support sheikh so-and-so. They still believe hajuri is this. They still believe this one. But I don't make al-wala wal-bara on that. Because that's not what I learned from the ulama. Correct me if I'm wrong, but to me, that seems to be exactly what they've only warned us against. That we don't make al al wala wal bara It's not a qaida in the religion that you love and hate Hajuri. It's not a qaida in the religion that you love and hate Sheikh Rabi. It's not a qaida in the religion that you love Ahmed Bazmul or you dislike Ahmed Bazmul. It's not a qaida in the religion that you love Sheikh Ibrahim Rahili or you hate Sheikh Ibrahim Rahili. That if you love him, you're a mubtadiyah, you're jahil. If you love, if you hate him, then you're a Sunni, you're Salafi. La, the issue's not like that. It's not like that, Ahabita Fillah. So I ask Allah the Almighty to uncover the people's blindness and bless us with and bless us to be an example for the youth. They're coming new to the Dawah. Some of us, we've been in the Dawah for 20, 30 years. Some of those brothers, may Allah bless them, from our brothers in Mektaba Salafiyah. They've been on the Dawah for 30 years. Some of the brothers in, the brothers in Medina.com for I don't know how many years. Brothers in many of the, alhamdulillah, have the ni'mah. So we have to set the example, not slice each other's throat and waste time 
and confuse the youth and cause people to go to misguidance. May Allah forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayk. Wa iyadhim billah min dhalika. Wa ma'udhi billah min shaytan rajim. And may Allah protect us from all kulli su wa makru. And may Allah bless us all with khair and protect us from shar. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.